Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany Simon. In today's video, I'm reviewing a video that was shared on my Discord. Somebody asked me to react to it. They wanna know my opinion, so let's go ahead and watch. I'm literally shaking right now because I just had a man approach me in a parking lot and it went fine. And I'm gonna tell you why it went fine and how to address it because it was in a book I read and this is how you're supposed to address it, but it scared me. Mm. I'm, literally, I'm literally shaking. So this guy, I am a alone with my son there are so many things i want to say about this video and the oh. responses to it oh i know this girl from tick okay i'm not on tiktok anymore i mean i am on tick i have a tiktok i just don't use it i should start using it but okay i i know this girl's start face by stating a strong i didn't expect to react, by react video of my own and it is the fact that I am 100% in support of mothers doing whatever it takes to protect mm. their children in Obviously. any circumstance they see fit, almost to a delusional level. I am in favor of the mother bear. If a mother with her child pulled a shotgun on you, my response would likely be, why did you get near her? And I'm being lighthearted mm. about it, but I genuinely have such a bias in favor of mothers doing whatever it takes to protect their children, even if the behavior is extreme, because kids are high priority and high risk. We live mm. in a dangerous world. Most human interactions are not necessary. You are 100% able to leave mothers with children alone 99% of the time. Therefore, it is easy to avoid them. If something bad happens to you when you are unnecessarily going out of your way to bother a mother with her child, who is rightfully protective and jumping, it is very rare that I'd side against her. And my video isn't only about the video I stitched, it is a much more broad perspective on the entirety of women's interactions with the world and men. But this disclaimer explains why I do not care if she screamed at a man approaching her in a parking lot. I do not care if it was rude. Okay, already I, I need to stop. And again, the why is all that matters to me. So I actually do want to know why. <laughs> because not all mothers are reasonable. Not all mothers care about their children. Not all mothers are good for their children. So just because you've had a baby doesn't mean that you're necessarily good for that baby. But generally speaking, of course, I want to protect mothers' rights to protect their children. Um, I don't love the narrate like the way she's near like the narrative of this already. I, I think it's a little too defensive for me. But I also want to know the full story about this woman who was approached. I do not care if it is something I would or would not have done. She was a mother mm. alone with her child. Generally speaking, women I need you to start completely ignoring men's negative commentary on the ways you choose to keep yourself safe. Men's negative commentary on the way you keep yourself safe will always make you the bad guy. It will always be you overreacted. Man, this girl is in the feminist stage of her life for sure. Like again, when you pit it up against men versus women, you've already lost because it should be how should humans interact with each other? Though I was raised in a bubble that said never allow a man to approach you when you're going to your car. My mom would say if you're leaving the mall, don't go to your car alone as a security guard to come help you or park close enough that, you know, you can be loud enough to scream and people will hear you. And it's always men we're afraid of, of course, because women traditionally don't have the strength to manipulate this, this way. They would mostly manipulate through reputation. And the scary part about being a girl alone walking to your car is that you are taught, at least growing up, I did, that men will shove you into the car, that men could attack you by being under the car, that men, there are a lot of ways the men might attack you. But my lived experience doesn't reflect that, though my shared lived experience does. Like, I know women who have those stories. I've never had problems in parking lots, but I'm also pretty cautious. And I was already told ahead of time to be cautious. So if men approach me, I go, wait, wait, wait. I don't know if you're a bad guy or not. So just give me a second. And then if they are a bad guy, they usually act a certain way. Like, I've had guys be like, Psh, I don't got time for this. Like, I'm, you know what I mean? And they, they genuinely... Uh, like look around sketch I've had some guys say like oh totally I'm not a bad guy I get it like you're a girl I'm just trying to like help from a distance I've had like because the problem is if you're raised in a conservative bubble at least in America in Orange County where I was you are raised to be afraid of men because men can hurt you but you're also raised to think of men as respectable gentlemen when they are and people who could protect you so there could be a man who's approaching me just to help me with my car or it could be a man who's going to hurt you so again, I don't like her narrative of like, stop listening to men. It should be more like, are we sure we're hearing the right information? Are we sure we're reacting to the right kind of information? But again, I would like to see the full video. So. Underreacted. You should have known better. You shouldn't have opened the door. Well, you should have let him get closer. Don't be rude. Why are you so paranoid? It will always make whatever choice you made incorrect. Because most of the So here's the problem, though. If you're on the internet and you're getting feedback, you are hearing from different bubbles of men. So some men will have contra contradictory beliefs. But not all men in all bubbles have the same beliefs. It's like when feminists and conservatives fight, it doesn't make sense because you both are afraid of men. So why don't you guys gear up, like become a team? Because you don't agree why you're afraid of men. Women think they're socialized or biologically got problems. Men think that 
women are too soft and they need to protect themselves more in conservative bubbles, right? I'm, I'm, I'm kind of bubble hopping here. It's hard to like define. I don't like generalizing, but I'm going to say that this is the typical stereotype of expectation. But if you're on the internet and you're getting feedback, well, you're hearing it from so many different bubbles that I'm not going to start generalizing men based off YouTube comments. Time, it will be advice from the perspective of what helps men, not what helps you. It will be from the perspective okay, I could of see their self-interest not yours. I can see that, but that's the problem. It should never have been men's self-interest against women's. It should have been as a community member, how are we, you know what I'm saying? I would love to, uh, what's the original story to this? What is she reacting want to? want to acknowledge the dangers you face on the daily. They don't want to acknowledge why it makes sense that you'd be hesitant of certain interactions. They don't want you to fear them because they want to be able to get near you. They want to be able to hit on you. They want to be able to pursue you. So if you're afraid, instead of acknowledging the validity in that fear, apprehensiveness, or attentiveness, the survival necessity of that fear, apprehensiveness, or attentiveness, they're going to claim you're paranoid. Well, the dilemma is that we're facing is that most of us don't have problems going from our car to the mall or our car to the store or in a parking lot. Most of us aren't going to be attacked. If that was true, we'd be a lot more paranoid in America, where I'm assuming this thing took place based off of the original woman's video that I need to see the whole thing of if I'm going to see it at all. I think there is something to be said about the paranoia levels we all have. Feminists are super paranoid that men are always around raping us and men are super paranoid that women are going to accuse them of false, accu false accusations. But the truth is, is the paranoia is rooted in understanding of how bad things can go, but not how good things are. There's no gratefulness about how good things are. So we only know what could go wrong. Now, again, am I paranoid? Yes. Every time I get into my car, I wonder if it's going to start. Every time I go from my the Ralphs to my car, I wonder if I'm going to get mugged. But then I just act accordingly and I prepare. Even though I've never been mugged, I'm still always prepared because it was ingrained in me that walking to your car is a dangerous activity for a woman. You should always have your keys out. You should always get ready to hop into your car and lock the door. That you should always like, again, I was raised by immigrant parents with, who came from a war and torn country. But it is paranoid to both fear men in America as these like awful things. And it is paranoid to think all women are going to destroy all men. But the narrative on the internet and the proof we see on the internet does overwhelm us with thinking that we can generalize men and women in this way. So I think that's kind of where we're getting we're getting it wrong even now. Men who have good intentions for you won't have negative commentary on the way you choose to keep yourself safe unless you're causing someone harm unnecessarily. I just don't think this is true. I think perfectly decent people who come from a different experience will have different languages when faced with certain circumstances. I think the people in my life even, the brothers who could like protect me and are amazing do have that conservative narrative though that like well what did you do how did you bring it upon yourself which is the aftermath I think liberal and po progressive circles have given me the ability to go stop validate the feelings then ask what can we do in the future to prevent it or you know either which way so in some ways I don't know the original video quite but this white woman who is Per protective of her kids and mad at this man for approaching her I think has good reason to because that's how she was taught to protect herself and then the men who maybe were reaching out to her in good faith I don't know the story maybe they were taught to help so they're saying why am I getting punished for being good faith but the problem is is that we don't even know what that looks like anymore so from my perspective again it could it just I would have to know the whole context of the situation in some circles it would be inappropriate to help as a man and also appropriate to help as a man Right. It's confusing. Nobody knows when they're supposed to help and when they're not supposed to. I had a man. I had a I had a problem with my car once. I was on a road trip solo and a man came and stood like very far from me. And he was like, hey, I, I don't want to approach you to scare you, but I, I, I know about cars. I could probably help. And I noticed he was wearing a scapular, which is a Catholic thing. And I was like, you're wearing a scapular. I, I trust you. Come on over. Because in that moment, he I knew a part of him. If he was wearing to wear, willing to wear a scapular in public, it meant that he was a certain kind of Catholic, which meant that I could trust him because I was raised as a certain type of Catholic who wore a scapular. So again, we're relying not on statistics or evidence. We're relying on our anecdotal experience, I am, to make the decision to trust this man because he stood far away from me, gave me a warning, and he has a connection to my past religious life. So again, when we're when we're in the moment, in the moment, we are just doing what we think is reasonable given the circumstance. So that's why I would love to know this woman's original circumstance. But this woman here is way too defensive and way too in a bubble and a specific, in, 
and generalizing while in a bubble, so that's why it's frustrating. And no, men, a woman refusing to talk to you is not causing you harm because they will always side with being the most precautious. Men know the world we live in. It is why if you called your father and said you didn't pull over for the officer behind you at night until you were in a public place or at the police station, he'd understand. It is why if you called a guy friend and said you just needed a male voice on the phone while you walked home, he'd understand. It is men who have bad intentions for you, or better put, have good intentions for themselves who mm -hmm. will advise you to lower your precaution. That's so interesting because I just reviewed the Myron's Fresh and Fit book or his Women Deserve Less book. I just literally did the podcast for it. And in the book, he says men are taught to do good by others while women are taught to do good by them for themselves. So everyone is being raised with a different narrative, right? She just said that thing. But like, what? Like, why would men only be interested in what's good for them? I know humans are always interested in what's good for them. But women and men, I don't. Again, I don't know how y'all are being raised, but we're not all being raised the same way. Why is she afraid of being approached or attacked? She's in the middle of a parking lot in broad daylight. People are attacked, robbed, assaulted, and kidnapped in broad daylight often enough for it to be a statistic. It, it is true, and that's why we have the paranoia, but we don't have the statistical like comfort as well. Because it is true that this happens, so you don't want to be the statistic. But also, it probably won't happen to you in this environment, depending on where you are in the world. Like it's okay to be prepared, but you don't need to be paranoid in comparison to the night. Of course. But let's not pretend that having precautions is irrational. Well, I guess a man just shouldn't attempt to return your dropped wallet then. Oh, please. First of all, if I was attempting to return a wallet to someone who dropped it, I wouldn't attempt to get within arm's distance of them before announcing my reasoning for approach. But she only knows this because of how she was taught, right? Because why does she know this? I only know that it's best to approach people with distance because people could be freaked out but i only know that because i learned it i wasn't born with that knowledge someone taught it to me so why is she saying things like you should just know this there's a lived experience humans have where we think i think this way so you think this way or this is how i do things you do things the same way um so she's projecting that normal like that normal onto other people and i i appreciate her methods i think she should announce what she's doing ahead of time and all of those things but why do we know that i think a person who's very self-aware and very aware of the bubbles and different cultures might be extra cautious but to be cautious you'd also have to be thoughtful to be thoughtful you have to be considerate to be considerate you'd have to care so you're asking a lot of humans already to be that right because most of most people aren't trained that way like again i no offense to the world i don't like how most of you were raised and at the same time it is what it is so you you know live and let live but most people are not given these tools from my lived experience within the bubbles i've hopped into stop attempting to use them as leverage these circumstances are always about someone yelling after someone or attempting to approach someone mm -hmm. typically with a size discrepancy or something else pertinent to said person being approached safety without stating their intention you know the irony of course is if these same men who are getting upset that women are being mean to nice guys, the same men who have wives and sisters will be like, you better be mean to that guy. Because here's the thing. You being rude to another human being is the risk of you um, attacking this man verbally or maybe like ruining his reputation if you take it too extreme, right? That's pretty bad. If a woman miscalculates, she's probably going to be die. She's probably going to die, be raped, her kids stolen, sex trafficked. So the dilemma we're having here is that generally speaking – in a particular bubble or space, the, just like if a man approaches a woman, the woman has more to lose. So to her, being rude is the least of her problems, which to the man should be reasonable if the man understands what it's like to be a woman. But a man who doesn't understand what it's like to be a woman might not understand why it's scary to have women be approached by men. Does that make sense? And at the same time, men should know this because men should know, like, aren't you afraid of other men? I hear this from men all the time. Like, men are a threat. Men are definitely scary. Well, then why are you, like, how would you feel if somebody approached you, right? Maybe you would feel comfortable. Great. But are we going to project what's comfortable to us onto other people? Are we going to be considerate? Which means pausing and thinking, which is very, it's a big ask to ask people. Like with this girl here, she's not taking into consideration the men's perspective, which I think isn't fully formed as a thought, but it's fine. But she doesn't sound like a very, she sounds bitter is what I'm trying to say, girls. I'm so sorry. Matter of discernment. And I say it's better safe than sorry. Could people approaching you have good intentions? Sure. Mm -hmm. Should you behave in a way where you'd be fine if they don't? Absolutely. If you give the wrong person the benefit of the doubt, you're dead. Yeah, for sure. This is a very feminist narrative. I agree with it as a survival thing. But if you're living and you're you know people and you can tell you don't always have to be in survival mode. You don't always have to assume this is my moment. But my anxiety does always assume that. I just try to fight that. That's a bad thing. Thinking this is always your moment is not necessarily efficient. 
So you want to think, is this my moment? Hey, what are you doing? Again, so if a man approaches me, I say, wait, 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 wait. I don't know if you're a bad guy and you're coming really close to me. And since you're bigger and stronger than me, I feel a little at, on, you know, on edge. Can we talk about this? And usually the good men will be like, yeah, oh my God, bro, I totally get it. You just explained it to me. I'm good. And I'm like, okay, good. What do you want? Like I've done that with people. And when people get mad, I write them off as a possible bad guy. Because again, if you're getting mad after I've explained it to you in that way, that's kind of nuts. Now, again, we have to go back and watch this original video because apparently we're not going to see it this time around. And I'm really sad I did it in reverse. I should have watched that video and then watched this, but that's okay. Now we're getting that first impression. See, I'm making a lot of guesses off of what I know about stereotypical humans in certain bubbles with certain upbringings. And I'm mapping on to that. But let's go watch the original video in, after this and see if we still feel that way. Out, to the men who went above and beyond to mock this woman or to try and fold the circumstance into your critique of feminism despite it having nothing to do with feminism. Just to all mm. the weird, rude responses to her video, you are likely part of the problem. The way you react to women voicing their safety concerns makes it very apparent how you view women. It does, but it also is clear with your video, girly, how you feel about men. Do you get what I'm saying? I agree with you, but I don't agree with you because if you have a real lived experience of dealing with a lot of good men who say a lot of dumb shit, you would have a lot more leniency as I do, I think, because I have to have grace for those people. Because the way they talk, they don't, they say things and you're like, holy crap, but they don't even know what they're saying. Like sometimes they do. And that's why when people go, I'm very smart, I know things, I just write you off. Because the one thing I know is the more I learn, the less I know. So if you're learning what I'm learning, you should not feel smart. You should feel humbled. You feel me? But when you feel smart, like this girl feels very, I'm sure she feels very smart right now. She really feels like she did something. You're going to have a narrative you're missing, the nuance you're missing. And the nuance I find is that most men are good and most men are trying their best. But most of us are raised so differently that when we interact, we feel like a threat to one another. You are fine to think that she overreacted. Many men and women think she did. We all have our own boundaries and discernment, blah, blah, blah. It is the way you vocalize that, though that is telling how condescending how vitriolic what mm. argument you use against I agree with her, that that is telling I agree with this 100% and then I want to give the same uh I want to be the same towards men I want to recognize that I don't have their lived experience so I don't know what it's like to be them so I really want to hear from men as well they are tied to dangers you have never experienced firsthand they are For tied sure. to interactions you have never experienced firsthand and instead of declaring how you have the right to interact with women despite you not women are perfectly allowed to avoid you every day until you die Oof, this feels super bitter girl concerns use that energy to become and prove you are a safe space for women if you don't explain it to the men then they're not going to get it also make sure you don't accidentally Overdo it. And I don't mean overdo oh, it for others. Okay. I mean overdo it for yourself. It is okay. important and necessary to take precautions and be aware of the way the world works and what female specific dangers exist. But also, you don't want to become someone who is so afraid of the world around you that existing becomes difficult. Okay, first of all, existing is always difficult, but there's your existing and then there's existence. So existence is hard. Existing can be hard, but you can have a better relationship with it for sure. How do I see the video she did this too. Okay, so I found the video. We're going to watch it. Her headline says, Stop approaching women in parking lots. Hashtag protecting women. I feel like that, stop approaching women in parking lots, is not good advice because um, it doesn't make sense. But I will see what she means by it. Living transparently. Really shaking right now because I just had a man approach me in a parking lot and it went fine. And I'm going to tell you why it went fine and how to address it because it was in a book I read and this is how you're supposed to address it, but it scared me. I'm literally, I'm literally shaking. I will say she's such a content creator because if this situation was genuinely like life shattering, I don't know that I would make content on it this, this way, but at the same time, I could do it if I was really upset. So I'm going to assume she's actually really upset. Her hands are shaking. Her breath is shaking. So I can tell she's upset right now. So now we have to watch this video, understanding that we're not seeing someone who's in their clearest head. We are seeing someone who just experienced something traumatic and they are upset. So just remind just I, reminder. I am a alone with my son by myself, a woman and a male approached me in a parking lot. He's like, excuse me, miss. And I don't know why in the hell he was approaching me or what he was trying to do and before he i mean he was probably 30 feet from me when he said excuse me ma'am and i turned around and i literally yelled at him and i said do not approach me and he like immediately started going in the other direction and i just kept saying it over and over and over he was 30 feet away from you and you still freaked out on him other the other day i was leaving walmart and this man went 
uh, ma'am, would you like to buy some chocolate? And I like looked over and there was a man approaching me with a box of chocolate and he went like this so I could see it. He was raising money for men's, some men's, men's group or helping men and boys, something like that. And I gave him, my brother and I were there and we gave him some money and we bought some chocolate, even though I can't eat it because of my chronic illnesses. But I did buy it. It looked delicious. And yeah, that was that. So again, uh, in my original commentary to the reaction video of this, I was, this is why I wanted to see the video, because again, I described as a man needing to stand a few feet back to give me clear space. She said he was 30 feet back. I don't think she knows how far 30 feet is, because that's very far. So she must not have meant really 30 feet, because 30 feet is very far. He cannot hurt you at 30 feet distance, girl. So why are you freaking out on him? I said, do not approach me. Do not approach me. And he, of course, like, got like what the f like he started cussing and yelling like what what's your problem and i and i looked at him and he started he actually then crossed a couple cars down from my car and he didn't come anywhere near me he crossed okay, a good. couple cars down from my car and was like what's con continuing to cuss and say what's your problem and i said you do not approach women in a parking lot i just kept saying do not approach me you do not approach women in a parking lot like yelling it no male no male should ever approach a woman in a parking lot. See, now I don't know what's happening. Again, I'm so queer and I'm so egalitarian that I always assume no matter your gender, you could be a good or bad person. And since I think most people are good, but we're born with different values or different cultural expectations, I I don't know why I would, I mean, maybe it's I was raised with eight brothers, but like if a man from 30 feet away saying, hello, miss or ma'am, I would be like, what's up, bro? Like she, and I don't, don't get me wrong. Like she can decide how to be protective on her own, but I'm not sure she's being a good neighbor here. So that's the question. Is she being a good mother? Is that the priority? Is she being a good neighbor? Is she being a good community member? I understand her, her desire to protect herself. Again, I was raised with a parent that told me, parents that told me, be very careful walking to your car because that's when you could get attacked. But I don't understand the way she even told her own story. Now she is in the middle of it. She is anxious. She's breathing. She might not be telling the story clearly. She might just be upset. upset. But I am concerned that she isn't being as rational as I think people should be with each other. I think it's irrational to be afraid of a person standing 30 feet away from you. I think it is rational to say, hey, don't approach me any closer. You're making me anxious. What's up? What do you need? I feel a little weird with you coming at me. And then he could say something. But the fact that she lost his, her her cool and attacked him uh, initially, I think that would put anyone on edge who just like meant well. But again, maybe he wasn't trained to deal with that. Maybe he was reaching out to help her. I don't know the reasoning he had, but maybe he was a bad guy. And maybe she, by doing this, she diverted a bad thing from happening. We don't know. And that's the dilemma. If we don't really know, did she do anything wrong? And if we think we know that he was probably just a good person, did she do something wrong? Or was he probably a bad person and she did everything correctly? Should No male should ever approach a woman in a parking lot. And if a male does approach you, you need to turn around and use the strongest voice that you can possibly use with them. Don't be polite. They need I to agree with this. screw off. No male should be approaching you in a parking lot. I'm literally... Okay, so I agree. Like, I don't agree with the no man should approach a woman because, again, I've been approached by men in the parking lot and it's been fine, but I've been approached by men and I'd be like, hey, back off because, like, you're making me uncomfortable. And they'd be like, Ugh. so, like, yeah, if they were like, Ugh, and then they left, maybe they were a good person that I just pissed off or maybe they were a bad person that I avoided. But I think reasonable people who are past this, this is very basic, like, human. Like, this is kind of Neanderthal behavior, right? Like, right like be loud but like it's very neanderthal if we're gonna go beyond that and say i live in a good place with good people so i should assume the best of people then maybe i'd go a little bit more of a step say hey just like neighbor to neighbor give me a second you're approaching a little fast for me what's up bro just i don't want to be on edge right and he's like oh man i totally get it i got a sister myself let's talk about this that's a, an experience you could have that's more elevated than this like this is reactionary this isn't thoughtful this isn't she being calm and considerate and thinking about the situation this is her reacting out of fear which is fine. It's a survival move. But the question is, is this the best of us? Because no. Us in survival mode is not the best. Us in consideration mode, I think, is the best. But she didn't have the time or the spoons to be considerate, which I can't fault her for. So is she a bad guy? No. Okay, I hope you guys liked this video. Thank you for the person or to the person who suggested it. Interesting. But I, I can't quite take a black and white approach to this just because I don't have enough information. Hope that made sense. Do not send hate to anybody. I don't need to tell you, but if you're not part of my main audience, we don't do that here. So peace and love to everybody I talked about today, and I hope you guys have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye.
found that my belly's being fed and I'm okay. I'm just fine, yet all I do is whine. Not to you in my mind, cause I know I don't make sense. I've been nothing but blessed. So why's my life a mess? Please tell me, cause I'm sick of thinking. Yeah, I'm sick of reaching out for the truth. Like it was a fool.